fourth must-have is pantyhose, a staple for women everywhere, of course. Um, perfect for fall and winter because there are so many different designs and colors that it can really make your outfit pop or it could just kind of complete it very subtly. My favorites of super sheer black uh, pantyhose, but you can wear them with shorts, with dresses, um, you know, it's really good for transitioning your summer outfit as well into the colder months. And also, you can help, you know, help transition your summer shoes, such as open-toed heels or sandals, by wearing them with a very thin, slightly baggy sock. Um, you may have seen that look around, and it actually is really good for transitioning your open-toed shoes for the colder weather, because it'll give it a funkier um, kind of layered look that you totally would not get with just a bare leg and also you don't have to put those shoes away till next year so it's perfect um, and my last must-have for fall is a sheer shirt or dress or skirt basically a sheer piece a beautiful sheer piece now when I say sheer I don't necessarily mean see-through you know you can see everything it could be see-through but Mostly I'm talking about silky, creamy materials that are ethereal and usually um, a bit flowing. Now the reason why I like that for fall is because it's really good for layering. Um, you can wear a see-through shirt, not necessarily all see-through, but a sheer shirt over a strapless uh, tank top, strapless dress. You could wear a strap, a strap, oh, sorry, you could use a, wear a, see-through or sheer dress over an existing dress to kind of make it more um, funky or give it more of a layered look and then put a sweater on top if you're cold. So, you know, as you can see, the, the sheer uh, piece is supposed to be for layering and adding texture. So it's not necessarily supposed to be the main part of your wardrobe. I use it as a layering uh, texture bit to add more texture and break up what you're wearing. So you're not necessarily just wearing one fabric or two fabrics on top or bottom. You can layer the sheer fabric on top of that and break it up, especially with the tougher or edgier materials. It's really nice of a contrast, you know, a super thin sheer material with maybe a thick rough wool or a leather jacket or um, leather pants or uh, I don't know, corduroy or tweed. It's really nice to break it up. So um, I would definitely look into a sheer piece for your wardrobe. And I would stick with blacks, but you, there's also really nice creams and whites and blush tones. Um, if you're going to go for a colored sheer, just definitely keep in mind that you want to keep it classy. So um, it's, I personally think earthy tones, blush uh, neutrals and blacks are best because they go with more things and if you're layering it's better to keep it simple so those are my top five must-haves for fall hopefully it gave you guys some good ideas for what you can do for your wardrobe um, really I mean this season where I live right now our fall only lasts about two or three weeks so then it gets really cold so um, I definitely want to take advantage of this period of time when I can start having fun with that but hopefully you guys have time to play around with the different layering and the different staples and um, trying out different looks and hopefully this gave you some ideas so if you have any other fashion related questions definitely feel free to ask away I will do my best to give you some great answers and hopefully it helped you out so I'll talk to you guys later bye